Hi everyone. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are. My name is Pankaj Dhingra, a proud print crammer and your faculty for strategic business leader exam. Oh sir, where are you sir? Sir, you promised that you will come up with a big time surprise for the SBL students sir. Where are you sir? We have been waiting for you for long sir. Sir, you mentioned that you will be coming up with a very helpful tool sir. Where is that sir? Sir, we need help sir. Where are you sir? That's not fair. I know my friend that I would hear something like that. But I can tell you one thing. Giving somebody a big time surprise at times take a big time, big time effort. And of course the time my friend. And that time at times get extended. And that's what happened this time. What we aspired to really build for you. To build for every ACC ASBL student. We are almost done with that my friend. But of course it is taking too much amount of time. Because there is a big time effort my friend that has really gone behind that in terms of creating what we really wanted to. Should I show you that? Yes sir, I am talking about my friend the ACC SBL memory chart book. Yes my friend, that is what we have been working on for last so many months. That's what we wanted to create for you. Strategic business leader my friend from the subject area standpoint, from the syllabus area standpoint is huge. From the standpoint of coverage because it really has of course far-reaching coverage from the standpoint of concepts and of course the models but it also has a far-reaching reaching coverage from the standpoint of various skills that you need to acquire be it the professional skills be it the format and whatnot and that is why my friend we thought that it is all the more all the more needed that we should have something like this as a tool available for you which you can really utilize and revise the entire content in less than a day. Yes, my friend, that was what we started off with and that's what we have been able to create it for you. We have created the SBL memory chart book for you, my friend. Now that really essentially, essentially covers all of that that I just mentioned. What we have in over here and we'll just run through in terms of how this book really looks like. But what I really want to tell you from the standpoint of coverage, it really covers the entire, entire syllabus curriculum with the help of pictorial, pictorial graphs and charts that you really need to have. What we have done is that we have created various, I can tell you various colorful charts my friend for revising the entire SBL curriculum. This would also highlight my friend various important exam related topics giving you an insight that this is what have been tested in the exam. And if this really comes up your way, how one should be tackling that and attacking that in the best possible manner. What we have also done is that we have included various memory aid tools, my friend, for the better retention. Of course, pictures that you would see over here in this chart would certainly help you in terms of knowing and of course, memorizing and retaining the things. But we have also given you some big time memory tools in the form of various mnemonics, my friend, that you really have to carry yourself in the examination room and of course kill it there and then what we have more in it we have the tips my friend to apply the models to the exam questions have you heard this to be a problem from many of the students who have already given this exam wherein they have been facing a problem in terms of how do they apply the model that they have learned in the curriculum onto the examination questions i can tell you many of the folks have that problem and that is the reason we have specifically picked this up in terms of how should you be thinking about a model and how should you be of course implementing that, relating that, writing that in the exam in relation to that particular scenario. We have covered that at length my friend in terms of you know how one should be thinking about that, how one should be applying that there and then. After that we have also covered my friend something which is very important and of course very close to my heart which is like discussion on the exam approach and the technique. What we've done is that at the end of each syllabus area, we have crafted some important pointers for you. For example, if it is a leadership, the kind of questions that you may get onto the leadership, we have really crafted that over there that if examiner asks you this, then this is the way you should be thinking about. This is what you really need to include in your answer. This is something you should be never forgetting. This is something that you should be highlighting and so on and so forth. 
we're just highlighting very important pieces my friend which of course have covered various examiner reports of the acca what we have covered while creating these memory charts and of course it also covers various technical articles the overall syllabus curriculum the feedbacks that we have from various students and so on and so forth so the entire learning that we have had for this exam my friend have been put it on into the reality from the standpoint of creating these memory charts for you and guess what my friend this of course of course take a lot of time and that was the reason my friend we have been working day in and day out for creating that the students who are with fintram in terms of taking these sbl sessions with us they have already got this they are studying this but we thought that let's make it wide open my friend for all of you to take the best benefit out of this and of course utilize that for your upcoming upcoming spl exam and of course come up with the flying flying colors and of course treat me with the cup of coffee when you have cleared your exam is that clear yes sir now i just want to give you a quick run my friend in terms of how the memory charts would look like let me just go and deep dive in already if i just go to the first page of it and of course this is something that you would see my friend for every syllabus area every syllabus area would be compartmentalized into some specific i would say pillars like in the case of leadership what we have is the pillar number 1 would be the qualities of the leadership that we intend to cover and then you have the leadership and the organizational structure my friend that we will be covering and then we have the professionalism ethical code and the public interest so effectively you would find three charts for these specific areas and you have to do those charts to really know as to what is there in the quality of the leadership what is there in the leadership and organizational culture and what would you really need to know from the professional ethical and of course the public interest standpoint but guess what my friend in the end what we have is that we have very well covered in terms of how examiner has been asking us on to these areas and if we really ask you that then what one should be doing from the standpoint of answering that there and then including my friend the tips that examiner wanted us to know or the things that examiner wanted us to know in the various examiner reports we have included that club that and given you there and then if i really run through in terms of you know what the first chart would look like it would look like something like this my friend this is the leadership chart my friend and of course you would see various pictures various colors various highlighters various mnemonics over here just to make sure that you're not forgetting on that you have to go through this my friend and of course if you start going through all of these topics you would understand that revising the entire entire isbel exam would not take you more than one day which is outstanding in itself my friend considering the volume of the syllabus that we have at hand is that clear yes sir now how would one would run through these syllabus areas Now this is the first one, my friend. We have the leadership. Wherein we'll start off with what? We'll start off with who the leader is, and then we'll be covering what? We'll be covering the physical traits, the the personality traits, and of course the social traits. That's something that have been defined in terms of you know what would that be? Then we'll quickly move on to what? We'll quickly move on to the leadership style, behavioral theories, and so on and so forth. So we have categorically defined that in the form of charts, my friend. just to ensure that it, it you are better retain it you are better able to retain it in terms of you know really memorizing that and of course having that in your blood we would be circling off my friend in terms of you know what the of course the theories are and then once we have done that we'll talk on the transaction and the transformation relationship and once that is done we'll quickly move on to the top again and we start reading in terms of you know what the overall content on leadership is all about we'll go on to the leadership we we'll understand the role of leader and then the skill that are being effectively required once that gets done we'll move on to the leadership and management of course we have some big time pieces being covered over there in the form of things that you really need to memorize and and you be sure you will understand in terms of the tables and of course the mnemonics that are being given over there and in the end we'll will definitely cover up in terms of ways to encourage the entrepreneurship or the intrapreneurship that is what the i would say the fever of the of the season is all about that's how we'll be covering each and every syllabus area my friend going from the start to the end and covering in these two slides let's say let's say in this case we have covered in these two slides the entire first pillar of the leadership which is the qualities of the leader 
if you really read through the content of course the text my friend you will see that you know the kind of time you're spending on in terms of reading the entire text is huge and that is the reason my friend this chart really gives you a quick glance of you know how the leadership overall would look like and of course how one would run through right from the start to the end in terms of the overall content i would say coverage is is, is, is all about now once we have covered this you'll move on to the second pillar that is the organizational culture and you could see my friend various mnemonics being given like in this case once you have to understand the organizational culture what you really need to know is the crops crops will tell you my friend of course you can extend that you can make it enlarge you can make it small this would help you in terms of you know what one would need to do from the understanding of the organization structure is all about let's say we have a crops over here wherein c stands for the core beliefs we have the r wherein r stands for the rituals we have the o wherein o stands for the organizational structure and so on and so forth so this effectively tells you my friend in terms of how one should be thinking about and of course knowing the various mnemonics in terms of really memorizing that at heart and knowing that in depth my friend from the standpoint of exam is concerned this has been specifically crafted my friend for you to really really there you to really be there my friend from the standpoint of covering the entire syllabus area in less than one day we have covered the organization structure then we'll move on to the professionalism ethical code Let's see now in one chart we have covered the entire structure isn't in, in entire entire culture isn't that great my friend in terms of you know you covering the entire content of organizational culture in just one chart by the help of few diagrams and of course few figures and few mnemonics isn't that really great for you you would really save time my friend in terms of you know covering this and of course revising through this and of course then the question practice something that you really need to pick on and if you have that sky is the limit is that clear yes sir now we'll cover of course the third pillar which is the ethics and of course the ethical codes and of course the professionalism once we have covered that my friend then as i said at the end of the every every syllabus area we have the important tips my friend in terms of how one should be handling the leadership question now this is something you really need to know my friend because this is where we demonstrate in terms of you know the kind of questions that you may get to see in the exam and if you may get to see that in the exam what should you be doing and of course giving you the tips and the tricks in terms of you know how one should be thinking about in terms of organizational culture how you should be thinking about the leadership style how you should be thinking about the threats and the way to control them and how one should be thinking about in terms of combating the fraud and the bribery situation if you get to see one in the exam this has been done and and of course crafted in a way my friend that effectively covers the past examination questions in terms of you know what we have seen there and what would work over there so that has also been taken into consideration my friend for the for the purpose of crafting this just to make sure that you're able to understand as to how one should be targeting the examination question in the best possible way isn't that great my friend now i'm sure you can correlate to the fact my friend why it has taken me this much amount of time in terms of really creating this and really bringing this to life my friend these memory charts would be super helpful to you my friend and i'm sure you know once you'll go through that you would yourself be able to tell that you know how this has really helped you in terms of covering the entire content and of course i would say targeting the exam in the best possible way and i hope this gives you i would say utmost help in terms of attempting this exam in the best possible way is that clear yes sir now that is something my friend i wanted to cover these are the memory charts that would be available to you you can of course find a link in the this in this video below and click on that and you would be able to get these memory charts for you we are also working on my friend in terms of creating the videos for all of these memory charts that may come your way as we may go forward for now you can just download these memory charts and of course view it view it for your own benefit view it for your own revision and of course hitting the exam in the best possible way is that clear yes sir now you're happy in terms of you know what you're wait what you're waiting for we have been able to create that yes sir that has really taken good amount of time my friend and the effort and of course i would say um, the coverage that we wanted to have was huge so we really spent good amount of time in terms of you know ensuring that you get the best piece of it and i'm sure you'll appreciate once you'll go through that i would urge all of you my friend to take the best benefit of it 
by and, and of course utilize this to the best extent possible the more you'll do that the best result you may have in your exam and of course i will be waiting for my cup of coffee when you are done with this is that clear yes sir and that is what i wanted to cover my friend and of course i urge all of you to take the best benefit out of this i would wish all of you very all the best my friend you have all my good wishes with you you should do very well in the exam just have that confidence in you my friend you have covered a lot just keep practicing and of course memory charts are there for you for revising that practice the questions my friend practice the mock the more you'll do that best you are there is that clear yes sir now that's what i wanted to cover in the form of a good news my friend i'll see you again in the next one till then this pankaj singra signing off 